Hi guys, welcome to my ninth video. Today I'll be doing a quick update on my Hobby King POA review that I've done in the past. Just click on the link if you want to see that video before this one. In my previous video I had some comments that suggested I change a few settings on my printer. I took their advice and changed these settings and also updated my software I used. I did around 11 test prints of hollow cubes until I was happy with the quality. It should be noted though that I'm using a very old style 3D printer so my prints are never going to be perfect. It is a clone of the Prusa Mendel i2 and it has very poor print head cooling for POA. The main changes I made were printing speed changes for the inner and outer layer speeds, infill percentage, extrusion level was lowered to 98% and the print temperature was lowered. I also changed to a newer version of Cura to version 2.6.0. I reprinted the Ultimaker robot. When comparing this print with the one from the previous video, you can see there are improvements to the print, but it still has faults that are caused by the old printer and not the POA. Hobby King POA seems to produce a good strong model, is easy to print with and good value for money. I am not sponsored or affiliated with Hobby King in any way. Click on the Captain 3D symbol to subscribe to this channel. Please consider supporting me on Patreon so I can make more of these videos. Also check out my other videos.